Nolajet here at Ciro's. Coach Sued, get stuff in here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nolajet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our Restaurant Review Vlog, we're on a travel search for the best food options in the New Orleans area, and we are visiting Ciro's Coat Sud, a neighborhood French restaurant which specializes in traditional French cuisine with an emphasis on Provencal flavors along with pizza. Ciro's Coat Sud is located in the New Orleans Riverbend neighborhood at 7918 Maple Street, which is about 19 minutes and 6 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. This is a unique neighborhood restaurant that is cash or local check only. You are invited to eat with me a New Orleans French food feast as we enjoy two dinner experiences here. Our restaurant review videos will be exploring some of the best New Orleans restaurants and this New Orleans food vlog will show you how we enjoy our New Orleans restaurant experiences. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So we have a traditional New Orleans shotgun layout here, so it's long and narrow. And they have a pretty good number of tables set up in here within those shotgun constraints. And they actually get pretty crowded in here many nights. So you might want to make a reservation just to make sure you're going to be able to get seated here on the nights that they are open. And they have a tiny little bar area back here, but it's not one you're going to sit at and hang out at. You really need to have a table to be able to enjoy drinks and food here. And there's some nice views here at the front of the restaurant that uh, give you a little view of the outside, along with quite a lot of nice artwork and photographs on the walls. Now here we have the menu, so let's check out what's available here. So we have la soupe, tomato and basil, la muse bouche, crab fingers and garlic, extra virgin olive oil and white wine, served with crostinis, le poisson, Louisiana redfish saute with pan aid kale, onion and red bell pepper, jasmine rice, red pepper, cream coulée, la plate, escalope du veau, lightly breaded and pan fried veal cutlet, scallopini with sweet potato mash and sauteed Brussels sprouts, filled demi glace. On the next page, we have les hors d'oeuvres, escargots de bourgogne, moules gratinées, huîtres à bleu gratinées en fleur, assinette de charcuteries, plateau de fromages, les soupes, soupe à la oignon gratiné, la salade, salade maison, salade verte à avocat, salade à poire. Salade de chambres chaud, salade de confit de canards, salade de cuisse de grenouille, salade de tomate et de mozzarella fraîche, avocat vinaigrette, salade coute sud. Les places de résistance, les mousses frites, salmon cream de épinard, poison de marche, cocolette barred à bacon et legumes du jour, margarette du canard aux peaches, petit filet et legumes du jour, steak frites, Costa Lagno Grills or Herbs de Provence, Blet de Porc de Jonis, Penriquette or Fruits de Mer, Crevettes et Courgettes à la Provençale, Fettuccine et Blanc de Poulet Sauce Forestier, Lasagne Maison Coute au Foire, Side of Pomp Reeds or Seasonal Vegetables, Blet Pomp, Garlic Bread with Mozzarella Cheese. Next we have Pizza Coat Sud with Cheese Pizza where you can get a 12 small or 16 large. You have a choice of additional toppings, and we have a combination of vegetarian and everything, a Napolitina, a Bianca, and a Le Olivier, and no substitutions, please. Les desserts, crème brûlée, crème caramel, café lijois, tarte tartine à la mode, provente rose au chocolat, poire belle Helene, layered chocolate mousse cake, les boissons, the selection of beers, and some other drinks such as orangina and hot tea, coffees, and assorted uh, soft drinks. Mon français est très très mauvais, so I apologize for my less than excellent pronunciation of a lot of those things. Then we have the wine list with a selection of red wines, then some ports and sherries. Next we have champagne and sparkling wines, then aperitifs and cocktails, and then a selection of white wines and rosé. So to start out with, I got an iced tea, and then I ordered a veggie pizza and added beef on top of it. So let's dig in. I've had the pizza here before, and I've always enjoyed it in the past. 
I've also had their lasagna here, which is also really, really great. So those are two of the uh, more Italian items I've had. So let's dig into this pizza pie. Ooh, 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 look at here. It's uh, a little uh, mushy in the middle there for whatever reason. I don't think the oven got quite hot enough in the center because there's so many toppings. But then it gets really crunchy the further we get out. So it's just a little softness in the center there. No big deal. So now I can pick it up. There were just so many toppings on the tip there. It just didn't want to hold up. So you can see the bottom has some nice uh, little scorching on there to give it a little extra crunch and flavor. So it overall goes together pretty nicely. So this is a tasty, delicious slice of pizza. I'm enjoying each and every bite. It's got a whole lot of toppings on here. Lots of ooey gooey delicious cheese. And this crunchy, crunchy crust on the end is quite pleasurable to eat. So there's a lot of good flavor from that dough and that little hint of scorch on it kicks it up to a little extra flavor profile as well. So overall, this is quite a pleasant, pleasant slice of pizza that goes down pretty darn easy. Here we go with the second slice. And this one uh, was a little better cooked on the tip there, so it held up a little better than that first slice I had. And so once again, it tastes very nice. All the toppings and the crust going together quite, quite nicely. Each and every bite is quite pleasant. There's a nice distribution of everything on there. It's very, very thin crust. It's kind of uh, certainly one of the thinnest crust pizzas I think that we have in New Orleans. So it's got a nice definite crunch to it when you bite into it, just enough resistance when you take a bite. It's not overly soft or mushy or anything. It's just got a nice little crunchiness to it. So just like I've totally destroyed this pizza, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you thought about that pizza. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account because I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So we also have to try some dessert. So here's the chocolate layer mousse cake. Ooh, this thing looks very delicious. Very, very chocolatey and many different ways here. This is like multiple levels of just chocolatey wonderfulness here. All right, here we go. Let's give it a little sample. And oh, there are definitely a lot of wonderful chocolate things going on there. Next up, we have to try the Puy de Belle Helene, which is poached pear with vanilla ice cream, homemade chocolate sauce and whipped cream topped with Poil d'Anjou liqueur. So it certainly looks very interesting, and here we go, and uh, okay, definitely has a bit of a pear taste without a doubt. All the whipped cream on here gives it a little extra creamy deliciousness to it. Ah, there's a little bit of the liquor uh, flavor coming through as well, so it's uh, certainly pretty interesting dessert overall. There's a lot of different flavors going on through these different layers of everything in here. So each and every bite's a little bit different. Uh, it has sort of a different combination of flavors and components with the way everything is distributed with all of these different layers in here. So it's very unique and that you're kind of getting such a wide variety of so many different flavors and textures as you dig down into this little uh, way that it's presented here. So this is certainly a unique dessert. I think I probably might prefer the chocolate mousse cake better because, well, it's chocolate. This is uh, certainly not a bad dessert. It's very interesting and unique in a lot of ways. It just isn't chocolate, of course, right? So there's a little bit of chocolate in here. The overall flavor, there's more cream and uh, some pears. So just like I told you to destroy this dessert, destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you thought about this dessert. While you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account. I do it for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived and the total before tip was $46.95. And remember, cash or local check only. So next I returned for my second dinner and started out with some delicious bread here. Ooh. A little bread and butter always makes a fantastic start to a meal. And this was very nice bread. Next, I got a French onion soup to start out with. Now, they did have some specials tonight, too. The soup special was asparagus cream with crab meat. They had uh, a lamuse bouche with crab fingers. The fish special was sautéed redfish. And the special plate was lamb shank. This French onion soup smells amazing, and it's super ooey-gooey cheesy, just the way I like it for my French onion soup. So this has some really great flavors. Oh yes, all of this wonderful ooey-gooey cheese. 
the bread in here is just perfectly toasted. It's wonderful, wonderful, just so delicious. The broth in here and all of these onions is just exactly the way I like my French onion soup. So the flavors are exactly the way I want them. Now here we go with the last bite. And now, just like I've totally destroyed this French onion soup, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this French onion soup. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account, as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. Next up, I got the lamb shank. Oh, I do love a good lamb shank, and this one looks quite delicious. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, it's huge and very, very meaty. Oh, this just looks so wonderful. Can't wait to give it a taste. Here we go. Oh, tender, flavorful. So, so just juicy and full of juicy flavors. This is a wonderfully prepared lamb shank. I'm really, really enjoying the flavors here. So happy to get a really well prepared lamb shank. Oh my goodness, there's nothing quite like a wonderful, wonderful piece of lamb shank like this. Mmm, so good. It's just uh, a wonderful flavor explosion with each bite. I'm really happy with what this dinner selection was tonight because I am a little bit of a carnivore sometimes. Now, the sides here are equally good. They had some carrots on the side with some green beans, a little cheese mixed in with the green beans. That's all good as well. But of course, the main star here is this big hawking piece of meat here. Oh, yes. This certainly is something that I do enjoy feasting on. And it used to be a pretty common thing to find in New Orleans. It's just gotten harder to find lately. So here's some more of these green beans that are always delicious here. Mmm, yes, cooked perfectly. I used to eat lamb shank weekly at Joey K's, but unfortunately they got bought by new owners and they, at least for now, have gotten rid of the lamb shank on the menu. So I do miss that. Ah, so it's uh, a little bit harder for me to find my lamb shank these days. Now, just like I've totally destroyed this lamb shank, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this lamb shank. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account, as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. For dessert, I got the caramelized upside down apple tart served warm with vanilla ice cream and whipped cream. Ooh, yes, look at this thing. It is uh, certainly a pretty little apple tart here. And this ice cream looks like it'll go quite well with it. Mixed down with some of this whipped cream. So here we go for the first bite. And it's a very nice apple-y flavor. So some good stuff going on here. Got both the regular cream, the ice cream, the apples all going on together to make for a pretty pleasant experience overall. So this is, uh, you know, pretty simple overall, I would say. It's got good flavors though. Now, uh, I would say probably my favorite dessert is still that chocolate cake that I had earlier because, you know, it's chocolate, so it's hard to compete with that. Uh, the apple is uh, also, I think, one of the better desserts here as well though. So this is certainly a solid dessert choice to go with the apple tart without a doubt. And it's uh, very easy. It's not too big or too small. It's a nice size to get you towards the end of your meal. So this dessert's going down pretty quick and easy and we're down to the last bite here. So here we go. Oh, oh. Now, just like we totally destroyed this apple tart, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this apple tart. While you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived and the total before tip was $48.05 and remember, local checks are cash only. So thanks so much to everybody at Ciro's Code Sued for fantastic food. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Jet channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would so kindly, go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it. Then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagen here, and thanks so much for watching, and just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.